Hello and welcome to this TFO Tools tutorial on our IFRS 9 General Approach Stage 3 application. First, let's open the application. As you can see, the structure of the application is pretty similar to other IFRS General Approach applications that we offer. We have the Analysis tab, the Instrument tab, the Details tab and the Help tab. You would notice perhaps the lack of an ECL tab. The reason is that because we are analyzing Stage 3 exposures, we already assume a probability of default of 1 as there must have been an objective evidence of impairment or a default event. In that case, we just assume a probability of default in 1 and no credit rating estimation is necessary. Let's start with the Help tab. In the Help tab, you're going to see that we have some information that is useful for your analysis. Please read it before you start the actual work with the system. The Data tab is quite similar to what we have in our other IFRS 9 applications. The debtors are in fact shared, so if you create a data in the IFRS 9 General Approach Stage 3 application, the same data is also available in our other IFRS 9 General Approach applications. Let's go to the Instrument tab. You will see here that we have a very limited information about the instrument, and there is no repayment schedule. The reason is that we already have a default event, and in that regard, no repayment schedule is necessary, as we are going to do the analysis of various scenarios in the Analysis tab. What we need, however, very much is the gross scanning amount of the instrument, which is, of course, without any accumulated impairment up until the date of the analysis. We also need the discount rate, or in this case, the effective interest rate of the exposure. The effective interest rate should not change because we have a stage 3 exposure. We just need to use the standard effective interest rate that we calculated for this specific exposure. Let's go now to the Analysis tab. In the Analysis tab, you see that we already have a few scenarios. And these scenarios have their probabilities. In this case, we had created four scenarios. A good scenario, a base scenario, a worst scenario, and a great scenario. Notice that each scenario has its cash flows. And these cash flows uh, can be quite different. In this case, for example, the worst scenario has no cash flow at all, because we assume that no cash will be generated from this exposure. As a result, now we have four scenarios and we need to calculate the ECL. For that, you just need to press on cell in Calculate, and now you have your ECL calculation as a percentage and as an absolute number uh, that you can compare to this uh, gross carrying amount. Notice how easy it is to change the scenarios. You can just say, I am go not going to use this scenario anymore and just delete it. When you do that, notice that the actual probabilities of each scenario change to make sure the combined probability is 1. In this case, the good scenario probability became 20%, the base scenario 40, and the worst scenario is 40 again. Let me change this probability to 50 just to demonstrate how easy that is. When you do that, the last probability is going to change to 30, and all we need to do is just press save and calculate again. So when that happens, you're now going to see that the ECL changed to 85%. It increased because we removed the best scenario possible, uh, and then because we now have on average, worst scenarios, the ECL as an absolute number and as a percentage increased. This is how easy it is to create and analyze IFRS 9 stage 3 exposures with our tool. You just create scenarios, upload and download the cash flows, and doing a safe and calculate gives you the final result. That's it from us, and thank you very much for watching.